You go to a public gym and video while acting oddly to draw men's attention so you can lie against them on camera, labelling them weird and creepy since they couldn't stop staring at your embarrassed self. You, young lady, are the odd one in my opinion. I don't believe it is ever permitted to record in a public gym. On TikTok, it's become popular for women to record themselves in public gyms while creepy men, quote unquote, watch them. They claim to be exposing bullying in the gym. On TikTok, the pitiless hashtag Gym Weirdos has over 1.9 million views, including recordings of guys allegedly staring at women in a disturbing manner. It's just so amusing how these women on TikTok believe that the entire universe revolves around them. I mean, who could possibly think that a man looking in their general direction is creepy? Clearly, all men at the gym have nothing better to do than to ogle at women, right? It's not like they have their own goals and aspirations or anything. We all know that men don't give a single care about how women look or what they're doing. They're just too focused on sculpting their own perfect bodies. And I must say, it's truly a wonder why anyone would bother waking up at the ungodly hour of 6am just to have a glimpse of women in the gym. It's not like people have different motivations or interests or anything. Obviously women should immediately grasp this profound truth and refrain from taking any provocative pictures because we all know it's their fault if men can't control their stares. It's just common sense, really. They interviewed a girl. This girl was like, okay, when I work out, I get creeps like 15% of the time. It's like this dude just stares at her for like, way too long. It's super uncomfortable because it feels like he's undressing her with his eyes or something. But honestly, if you're at the gym to actually get fit and not just boost your ego, who cares if people stare? You should be so focused on your own goals that you don't give a damn about them. Just pretend they don't exist and do your thing. It's not cool to misunderstand people or film them for clout and likes. Guys hit the gym to focus on their bodies, right? So if they happen to glance your way, it's not necessarily because they find you attractive. Well, some might. Most of the time, they're probably just checking out your form or maybe even silently cringing at your embarrassing workout technique. Actually, some guys might not even notice you're there at all. But here's the thing. When you whip out your smartphone and start recording your session and by chance catch a guy looking in your direction, suddenly he's labelled as a creep. All of a sudden, he's accused of sexually harassing you. You report him to the manager, who unfortunately happens to be a pushover. He kicks the guy out and cancels his membership. Due to all this creepy guy drama, men are now actively avoiding interactions with women at the gym. Some guys are even going to the extreme of setting up their own home gyms just to steer clear of any potential issues with these modern women. It's like they're afraid that one false accusation could land them in jail and ruin their lives. So I've been seeing these videos where girls are struggling with heavy weights and no guy wants to help them out. And honestly, it's kind of messed up. But can you blame the guys? They're afraid of ending up on TikTok or YouTube before they even hit the sack. I feel like the solution here is to have separate gyms for guys and girls. It's just crazy how some girls act like the whole world revolves around them. And let's not forget that a lot of these girls only come to the gym to boost their ego. They do, like, a few minutes of exercise and then spend hours showing off their butts for everyone to see. It's weird, you know. They get all uncomfortable if a guy even looks their way, but they're totally cool with millions of guys fantasizing about them on TikTok. If that's not hypocritical, then what is? So, I saw this recent video where this woman was hogging the treadmill for 30 minutes. Then this old guy comes up and politely asks if he can use it too. And you won't believe what happened next. She straight up insulted him, called him creepy and accused him of being a molester. It was so harsh. And to top it off, she was recording the whole thing in the gym. Honestly, gyms should have a sign at the entrance that says, drop all phones on the counter. If they don't want to implement that rule, it's not just women we'll be avoiding. We won't even bother going to those gyms anymore. It's just not worth the drama, you know? The Dark Ages, where men are regarded as peasants and women as nobles, and where a peasant's eyes may not meet a noble's, are probably what women desire from us. They want a situation where guys working out in a gym with both men and women working out there must stare directly at the floor or wear blindfolds. I'm not denying that there are creepy dudes that work out at the gym and leer at women though. Without a doubt, this does occur. However, this is heading in the same direction as the Me Too movement, 
in which the thesis was that only women are victims. How long before we create gyms that are exclusively for men to protect against false accusations, only to be informed that male-only gyms are sexist and obliged to either allow women to use them or shut them down. The gym has turned into such a joke. What a nightmare it must be to walk into a gym for the first time and see people filming TikTok videos on their phones and tripods. People want to discuss toxic masculinity, but feminism is far worse, which is why these women feel entitled and obligated to pursue men and engage in conflict. I came across a comment on YouTube that got me thinking. It's kind of crazy how some people believe that a simple punch can solve a lot of problems. But here's the thing. Why is it that when a guy glances at a woman, she may feel uncomfortable, but if she shows off her body on social media, it's considered totally fine. If a guy punches a girl, he's instantly seen as a monster and lands in jail. Everyone who witnesses it would probably attack him too. But if a guy gets punched, it's like a regular occurrence, almost like a typical Tuesday. They might even become friends afterward or just get kicked out of a place, like a bar or gym, without much fuss. It's just weird how perceptions and reactions can be so different depending on the gender involved, you know? Anyway, that's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.